I told you guys, well, we told you guys that we were almost done for the year, but you know, we had a little fucking pop up that we just had to make our way to. And yep. I mean, granted that burgers were initially the first thing that caught my interest when we first did, well, when I first started the show. It's kind of like a classic take on a burger, but it's like there's. I mean, you have people outside in the rain, and I'm over here with the owner and the creator behind this thing. What's up, Jared? Hey, hey, you, man. How are you guys? Thanks, Thanks for coming in. Thanks yeah. for having us. You have this uh, new, that was a pop-up yeah. new, or I mean, originally, what is this, like a poultry shop or a meat shop? Uh, meat shop, we get all whole animals. Uh, we do beef, pork, lamb, duck, chicken. Yeah, it looks like, I mean, you have like big, hearty-sized steaks here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. Uh, and also yeah. cuts as well. Yeah, we can do a lot of the cuts you don't see anywhere else too, since we get the whole animal. It almost yeah, it almost looks like a, like something you would see out of like a movie. You know what I mean? Like yeah, how yeah. it has to be like portrayed very perfect. I appreciate that. It's a, you know, because you know, like yeah. you kind of have those plastic ones that would have yeah. you know like a display. It literally oh. looks like that. Now, Go is this something you just are you first in your fam like to get into the meat business? Yeah, yeah, oh, shit. definitely. I actually didn't eat meat for a bunch of years. Uh, and actually, we do this for. Like exactly the same reason. You usually, usually, we usually meet people that used to eat meat and now don't. Why I was that guy for a while, and then I came back. Uh, well, why, uh, why it was you? just for the ethical reasons. I just didn't like the way the meat industry in this country is. The way we're like just commoditize this thing that should be a luxury item. We kind of set it up like a like a jewelry case, but with meat. I feel like you hunt. Do you hunt? Uh, I don't hunt. Okay. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the beard. I just want to ask. Like, give it up for like Mandy's in the butcher shop. Yeah. Nope. Uh, I feel like you fuck <laughs> What's your favorite kind of kind of meat? Oh, that might change. Change day to like day. Like asking a favorite song. I know. I mean, big, I lean toward uh, toward pork yeah. more than beef all the time. But if we're like if we're gonna stick to like favorite cut of beef, I'm gonna say ground beef because you can do anything with it. It's like play doh. Huh? Yeah. It's also if you care about it, like the most sustainable thing, like come buy ground meat because I need to sell a lot of that. How did you get the idea to start the burger pop, burger making pop up we, outside? Yeah, we did it one day. Um, I think the first time we did it was like on our one year anniversary. Beef is really big, so we gave it a whole. And one day, just because we thought it'd be fun, we we're like, let's just do some burgers. And we got all this beef, and we were like, we're gonna give away burgers all day today, and it was a lot of fun, Damn. Uh, and just That's a good cool. way to move a bunch of beef. You're yeah. taking your ground beef, which obviously is made of this kind of meat. Yeah. So it's like, looking at these cuts and quality of the meat, like I can honestly tell you guys that it's, I mean, fuck, man. There's places that have so many takes on burgers, and I love it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. who doesn't like an egg on a burger? Who doesn't like totally. crazy sauces on it? But like, if you're gonna take pride and put in like, showcasing like the, the, sa the savoriness of the actual meat, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's, that's the idea. It's definitely something I look forward to. You know? yeah. And the way it's made outside, I noticed that it's just ketchup, mustard, and onions. It's your, it's your McDonald's yeah. quarter pounder, but it's good meat. <laughs> I've always wanted that. Yeah, yeah. That's literally what, like, I grew up eating that garbage fast food, and that's what I crave, but I won't go buy that just, you know, for ethical reasons, and so now I can have it or your Every stomach Saturday probably thanks you. you know? <laughs> <laughs> your stomach probably thanks you a lot. Yeah, no, totally. This, I definitely, I can eat a couple doubles on this and then just go about the rest of my day and not feel like I need to like lay down. All right, so we had to go around the corner to go get our smoke on. Big thank you to fucking Trade Craft Farms. I mean, fuck, it feels like they just keep getting better and better. Look at this Man, shit. Man, that packaging. Look at this. I get my own fucking Zippo lighter. The flame goes on. on. It's the shit that fucking 70s fools used to go to do acid and go like this concert. C minus will tell you he was there. <laughs> Here, dog. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Boom. Tradecraft this... fucking. These are the personal blunts they have. I mean, this is just convenient right here, man. Fucking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Saw Sleek, Tradecraft Farms. You know what's crazy? It's like, this is like the first place where like, I've been to where like. Like, I mean, I usually, like, when I'm in the IE, I usually feel that, that I can drive practically anywhere, but, like, people on Melrose just like, like, hey, fuck it, we'll park on your lawn, or we'll just park in a random driveway. I just saw a dude almost fucking cause an accident here just because he wanted to find out if they took car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, man. Fuck you, bro. Okay. Right. What, you too? Yep. Aton wrote this, and just, this for you, be real. Make sure that we tax them every time. And it doesn't run like Pedro's. I agree with that. Do you, man? Yeah, you, bro. I got you, bro. I Stupid trash can, bro. Please do. Please do.
<coughs> the audacity that Pedro decides to claim himself number one. What a piece of trash, bro. He's really a unique trash guy. If you know that <coughs> him and I are one and one. <laughs> Dude, how the fuck did you find out about this place? Yeah, Aton, please tell us how you found about... Do you just walk all Melrose? No. <laughs> Cause like, uh, I feel like you eat at every spot on this block. One of my trainer homies was posting it, and with the guy that you guys saw earlier. Right, okay. He posted it up, and I was like, okay, I have to try this spot. And yeah. he's been posting it up for months now, and only now, I only, only recently have had a chance to try it out, and it's the fucking truth. What do you know? Aton shows up for High Hungry, and even the rainbows come out, huh? To brighten up your fucking day, huh? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> The long anticipated wait. I mean, as you can tell, this is quality meat. Pause. Look at this. That's He's, the third time. It's like said gooey. That. It literally is like if all the quarter pound, if a quarter pounder was made with all the right material. I asked for extra pickles. I don't mind the onion. C minus does. Yeah. How, how do you feel about the texture of it, dude? Man, I think this feels like a super heavy duty burger, man. This is like a burger. Like it's, he said, he wanted to make like a really good quarter pounder. Out. A double quarter pounder this is. And hey, man, I can't wait. Let's do this. I always like doing this. <laughs> All right, y'all. Cheers. Yep, cheers. Cheers, Aton. Salute. God damn. All right. Yep. They should really consider fucking opening up a restaurant, man. I mean, god damn. Wow. I mean, wow. I don't know. Wow. Too, now I know what he means about like keeping it plain and simple so you can taste the quality of the meat. Mm. And the texture on the outside is it's like almost like the, you know, when cheese gets crusty on the quesadilla, mm -hmm. the meat is like that. Yo. Tender ass burger to bite into. It really melts. I love the over overuse of cheese. I would say that once the burger starts cooking, the cheese slice gets thrown on top. The cheese slice is bigger than the burger, right. so it like grasp it. I mean, this burger is banging. I'm gonna go by in there and buy some ground beef to make one at home. Hey, I'll say this. It reminds me, you know, like I like double cheeseburgers from from Burger King, right? It's a simple yeah, me burger. Too. Yeah, it's, it's a simple burger. When I'm in the mood for that kind of burger, I come to, you know, I'll go to a you know, quick fast. I'll get a double cheeseburger. This is like if Burger King, if the, if the double cheeseburger from Burger King was made of just 100% quality shit, meaning ingredients, this burger is definitely one of the best burgers I've ever had. Like, for hands down. For something so simple, like, it, it really is. It's it, simple. It, the simplicity it hits it out wins. The park. Yeah, for something so simple, like, just like a regular burger, like, there's people lining up outside. They bring their dogs here and shit. Yeah, man. You know this I mean? is like dogs, is like, there's so, I mean, yeah. It's, I can't, yeah, this burger. If is you're smart, you go and buy some of this meat afterwards. Mm hmm. This is well worth it, man. Honestly, high and hungry approved. We're high as fuck on Melrose. Hopefully, not gonna witness an accident. <laughs> but, uh, we're lucky. If you see this episode and you sh if you pull up, make sure you go ahead and, uh, find a, you know, find a, find a parking spot ASAP quick. Yeah. And uh, make sure you're able to eat there sometimes if you don't want to stand outside because this is a pop-up still. But uh, don't forget to say what you saw first. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hungry. <laughs>